Yeah, this is a good warming up. Another one is this. Do this, all of you. No nails. No nails. Nails, right? Got it? Okay, we do another. <laughs> do this. This is a classic now. Reverse, not reversed. Thumb down, right? And then, <clears throat> so it goes back to normal position. <laughs> okay, now about statistics. <laughs> Car accidents, for example. Just an example here. More accidents happen around the speed of 50 miles per hour compared to 100 miles per hour, of course. It's, you agree? More accident around 50 miles per hour compared to 100 miles per hour, of course. And more accident happen with clear, bright weather compared to heavy, heavy fog. You agree? And more accident happen with normal, sober people compared to heavy, drunk people. <laughs> Consequently, if you will drive, say, from A to B, driving 100 miles per hour in heavy fog and be very drunk. <laughs> really? Yeah, lots of politicians and businessmen use this kind of argument. It's easy to find in, in, in newspapers and so on. And I mean, it's obvious if, the, uh, mind the car accident, if it's 25% where alcohol is involved. I mean, if you are at a party and you think, shall I take this drink? Shall I drink wine? Yes, drink wine. And uh, booze, you say so? Yeah whiskey and uh, be really drunk because it's only in the traffic it's only a few percent where heavy drunkers or heavy drunkers uh, drunk people are involved I mean if you stay sober it's maybe 85 <laughs> percent so uh, and if you will have a very safe car buy a pink Volvo with an extra spare wheel. Statistically, none of those cars has been in an accident <laughs> ever. Earlier, uh, Volvo is Swedish and Saab, but now recently uh, America has bought our soul, so now we don't have any Volvo more. I hope you are satisfied, yes. <laughs> uh, more statistics? A little more? Yes? yes. For example, if a guy wrote a book, he writes the book, excuse my English. Normally I start with the phrase, I, I, I doesn't speak very many, but I do the best what I are. <laughs> to emphasize the weakness, then every tension gets away. And I got some symphony points for that phrase. <laughs> and it can't be worse, right? Anyway, uh, if a guy writes a book with the title, How to be a complete failure. And this book didn't sell in one single copy. Has he then make a tremendous success. <laughs> and in that case, if it was a success, it was against the title, and that was a total failure, which the title uh, described, right? Got it? <laughs> Not really. OK. <laughs> we talk about mathematic, ma mathematic math. Uh, what about this? If 10 people is in a room, 10 people, and the mathematician believe this, the thing I say now. If 10 people is in a room and 12 people leave the room, then two people must come back before the room is empty again. <laughs> because the mathematician work with negative entities, right? I saw some confusions here, but OK. <laughs> we'll, talk, we'll come back to that later. And now, shuffle tracking. So, um, I will demonstrate different ways of, with logic, uh, arrange, arrange cards, memorize cards, and so on. And I work with a, a regular pack. Can you check? Check the cards, shuffle, mix them, shuffle. Shuffle and look at the card so there are not no marks on it. Excellent, thank you. Now, a big hand for Tom Allen.
who will help me here. I think we'll take this. Yeah, I will demonstrate a method how to memorize cards and uh, do the thing I talk about, shuffle tracking. And here, here is a, a, a kind of uh, insurance if I miss. It's a, a, an out. And here is the thing I will check. So now we do this. First, this is a tribute to my friend Simon Aronson. It's, uh, he is a, a lawyer, very bright, clever guy, nice guy from Chicago. He and his wife, Ginny, both are performers. And uh, this is my version, my, my, my costume of his. He, he introduced this uh, method uh, to train your memory. I think he has courses in this. You say courses? Course. So now, take a bunch from here. With both hands. You can stand here. With both hands. Any, any amount? With both hands? Yes. Both hands. Reverse them. Put them here. And put them together. With dignity. That was a little fast. But it's okay. Hmm? Now, once again. Good. Excellent. Reverse. No, put them together. More elegant, better, <laughs> right? Yeah, once again. And put them together. Yes. Set aside. Oh, yeah. But maybe we do some more. Hop. I think they are uh, pretty well mixed. We, we do it once again. Some more. Take take some more. Reverse. And mixed. And one more. Reversed and mixed. Good. So, here. Maybe I missed. This is a challenge. So, now I've checked the cards. And I have some notes. First, I think 23 cards face down. You see? That's my first prediction. The second, not prediction, the, my, my uh, tracking. The second is, I think there are 12 red cards among this card. 12 red cards. And all blacks, all black are spot cards. You know spots, spots, right? No picture card, spots. And all blacks. Are even. <laughs> I think that. I have more, but now put them together and count. Take the pack and count the face down cards first. Loud and put the face up aside. Okay. You don't need to correct them, just deal from that position. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. Yes, twenty three cards. Face up. Now, like this. Face up. Take them and count the red only. Twelve red cards. One, two, three. Show them very clear for the camera. Four. four sorry. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12. Yeah, good. <laughs> now we can do Now, all blacks are spot cards. Spread them all over, so every, but don't mix them with these cards. No, no, sp yeah. Spread them. In a, so, spot, right? And all blacks are even, correct? Oh. Take it and show it. And then I have one, uh, I said insurance, right? Oh. With the exception of seven o'clock. <laughs> right? <laughs>